I know some people are going to be mad about this one. I know some people are going to be mad about this one. But Yana Kuniskaya gets a unanimous decision victory over Ketlin Bieria. And I absolutely see why the judges gave this fight to Yana Kuniskaya. All right, round one. The, 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 the judging on round one. Okay, now they get they gave round one to Yana. I don't agree with that. But round two, Yana Kuniskaya was able to show that she is a contender on the ground. Like, you know, people, we have to stop thinking of Yana as just a striker, okay? Yana was a wrestler. Yana started training in wrestling at the age of three, guys. Yana Kuniskaya has been, was in that Russian wrestling system, the same as Habib, the same as Hazmat Shemaev, all of, all of the Russians with the great outstanding wrestling, Yana Kuniskaya needs to be put into that conversation, guys, because her wrestling is high level. Okay, so let's 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 get that out the way. Um, but Kellen, uh, Yana Kuniskaya was able to really, Kellen Vieira really didn't do much when she had control on Yana. She couldn't she couldn't really pass the guard. Yana was anchoring down her leg, keeping her in half guard, keeping her in three quarters guard. You know what I'm saying? Like, Yana did a great job of anchoring Ketlin Vieira and not letting her advance her position. Great submission defense by, you know, great positional and submission defense by Yana Kuniskaya. Yana is better on the ground than we give her credit for, man. You know what I'm saying? And then we come into round three, and Yana's trying to get some strikes off. But the, at the end of round, I think it may have been at the end of round one, um, when y Yana got back to her feet at the very end of the round, Yana landed a head kick on Ketlin Vieira that I think I think it kind of stunned Vieta. You know what I'm saying? I think it kind of stunned her, but the bell blew. The, the horn blew, so the round was over. Round three, we come out. Yana trying to keep the distance, land some strikes. She was landing some good strikes, good body strikes, good jab, of course. Um, she, she stuck the jab and, and, and was out of the way before Kellen could swing that loop and hook. You know what I'm saying? And... Kellen Vieira ducks under and gets a beautiful takedown and controls Yana for the majority of the round. But the last minute and a half of the fight, Yana Kuniskaya was able to reverse the position and get on top and do damage. Kellen Vieira didn't really do much when she had the top position. That's why people always say you must be active on top. You can't just lay there on top. You have to be doing something. And she did somewhat get the back of Kuniskaya and was trying to lock in a rear naked choke. But Kuniskaya defended great, beautifully, reversed the position, and started landing some vicious ground and pound, man. Like, she swole, she swole up. Um, Ketlin Vieira the last minute of that fight. I mean, blood, hematoma, the whole nine yards. Yana Kuniskaya hurt Ketlin Vieira at the end of that fight. You know what I'm saying? And Ket Yana's ground game in round two was a lot more dominant than Ketlin Vieira's ground game in rounds one and three. It was it was much more dominant. You know what I'm saying? Yana was very heavy and was landing strike. Guys, she outlanded. The, she outlanded Ketlin Vieira in this fight, 179 strikes to like, like 19, I think, something like that. Maybe it was either 19 or 37. I don't know. It wasn't over 40. And Yana landed 178 strikes in this fight, man. Very active from her back. Very active on top. Kuniskaya worked, man. She was constantly working. She was getting out of choke. She was getting out of position, you know, bad positions. And she was dominating when she got on top. And the the um the the ground and pound from Yana Kuniskaya is what won her this fight, guys. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what did it. When she that's why you fit that's why they tell you to finish strong. Yana finished strong. She 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 utilized those last two minutes of the round. She, you know what I'm saying, she, 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 she slowed down Ketlin Vieira when she got on top. You know what I'm saying? Yana, when Yana was on top, she slowed her down. And then she started opening up and landing those big shots to the dome at the end of this fight, man. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, uh, people going to say, oh, well, Yana got, I mean, uh, Ketlin got robbed. No, nah, she didn't get robbed. She didn't get robbed because she wasn't doing much. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't doing much. So. I see the fight going to Yana Kuniskaya, man. I really do. I, I, I agreed with the judges. I definitely agree with the judges. Because, I, I mean, I ain't going to lie. I was biting my nails there at the, at the at, you know, when they was reading the judges' scorecards. But it is what it is. Congratulations to Yana Kuniskaya. She defeats the number six, Ketlin Vieira. So she at least 
should be ranked number six come Tuesday, guys. This is your boy BJ back from No Filter MMA. Drop those comments in the comment section. Hit that like button. Hit that dislike button. If you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And one more thing I wanted to touch on was in the clinch, man, the physicality of Yana Kuniskaya, man. And I knew the knees were going to start coming. You know what I'm saying? And it's the, by round two, Kellen Vieira was tired because Yana was, when they were in the clinch, Yana was was peppering her with those knees. Great knees by Kuniskaya, man. You know what I'm saying? Muay Thai, <clears throat> Muay Thai clinch. Her Muay Thai clinch is very good. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I hate that we didn't get to see more of a striking match because that's really what I wanted to see. I wanted to see if um, how Kevin Vieira dealt with the the high level striking of Yana Kuniskaya. I wanted to see how she she how she dealt with that. But guys, Kuniskaya, yeah, she's a great striker. Like she's one of the best. But what we're seeing, guys, is a lot of clinch and a lot of wrestling and a lot of grappling from Bianca Kuniskaya. We've seen it in the Stolia Rinko fight. We've seen it in the Lena Landsberg fight. You know what I'm saying? Like the most striking we've seen from Kuniskaya has only been really in two fights. And that was the Marion Reno and the Aspen Lad fight. You know, and even in the Aspen Lad fight, there was a lot of clinch work, knees in the clinch. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that was it was there was also a lot of striking in that fight too. So, I mean, Yana is showing a very well-rounded game. You know what I'm saying? Like, Yana Kuniskaya, guys, she's in the conversation. Let's put Kuniskaya in the conversation. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, we should see, like, Jermaine Durandame versus Kuniskaya next. That's the fight I'm calling for. I'm calling for Jermaine Durandame versus Yana Kuniskaya. That's the fight that I'm calling for. That's the fight that needs to happen. That's the fight that needs to happen. All right, guys, I'm up out of here. Peace out.